today we're going to cook stew village style <laughs> we're cooking stew in a village kitchen where you don't have uh, countertops yeah this is a typical village kitchen you don't have countertops you just have the kitchen in there you have the stove in this case gas um, what else Sometimes no tables. I'm using benches for tables and countertops. So come with me so that you know how to cook in an incomplete kitchen. <laughs> yeah, a different kind of kitchen from the one you have. Okay, so before we start cooking, this is what I'll use. Thyme, pepper. I bought this pepper for 100 Naira yesterday. And this one, I bought this onions you know yeah if you're paying attention on the social media you would have heard the rave about how expensive onions is these days so i bought these five for 500 naira which means one is 100 naira let me hold it for size this is 100 naira yeah so 100 naira and then they, they use this one as jara for me this is thyme this is chicken I have two old layers chickens here, 2,000 naira each. I'm not going to use all of them, I'm going to divide it into two. And these tomatoes, <laughs> how much did I buy this? I bought these tomatoes for 800 naira, this thing you see here. 800 naira is, or let's just say is $2. After they say that we are living on less than $2 a day in Nigeria, if only tomatoes, not to talk of <laughs> the other ingredients, we are not even talking about only tomatoes that I'm going to use to cook is $2. How can they say that people are living? Food is so expensive in Nigeria. I don't think anybody lives less than $2 a day in Nigeria. So, yeah, that's seasoning cube. So I'm going to start cooking now. When you buy whole chicken here, you get all the parts. Look at Look at, look at, what is it telling you? Can someone tell me what this thing is telling you? <laughs> See the head? Some people have never seen chicken head. <laughs> See the head? This is the gizzard. They've removed it, the sandy part. Ask them for chopping board. What Olebube brought for me here? Eh? <laughs> if you will see it, you will laugh. <laughs> it's better to use by hand. <laughs> but yeah, I know some people will think, oh, this will, is going to cut you. Oh, you're going to cut yourself. This is dangerous. <laughs> but this is how we do it, man. With practice, there's no way this is going to cut. Of course, sometimes you get accidents, but. We've mastered it. I'm cooking rice over here so the water has boiled. Transfer light over to this place. This one is not working on. Hey. The heat went underneath. Madre me. Here. So that leaves us with just one burner. <laughs> I don't know how to cook with one burner. This is the first time I'm cooking since I came back. And I just realized that this burner over here is leaking from somewhere. So it's going to be a long cooking time today. The rice is boiling there. I wanted to cook the chicken on the other burner, but when I transferred the light over there, 
I saw the thing underneath. Very dangerous, so I had to turn it off. So I'm left with one burner. It's going to be a long, winding cooking. Like, if you want to spend like 24 hours in the kitchen cooking Nigerian food, cook with just one burner, okay? <laughs> so now I'm going to slice the tomatoes because there's no blender. <laughs> So rinse it very well. I'm going to show you how we do it. How you blend your tomatoes when there's no blender or when nepa strikes and you have a blender, yet you cannot blend something. Now we have the gen on. Blender decided in this year. Those of you who know me very well know that I hate seeing tomato seeds in my stew. So I remove it and slice it. I slice it because <laughs> I will tell you I will tell you about that later. Everything I do, I have a reason for everything I do in my life. Some people think I'm wasting time, but <laughs> I'm a very picky person when it comes to what goes into my mouth. I like to savor my food and even the slightest thing can make me lose appetite. I can transfer this one here. For 500, you look this good. For 500, man. Some people say that this is not tomatoes, that it's corn flour, whatever, whatever. <laughs> that they say that it is. Ingredients tomatoes <laughs> and salt. Hey, I don't know what to say. As long as they're not giving us the one that will kill us. As I always do, I mix it with water to bring it to a softer consistency so that it does not burn. The water, the added water, also helps it to, you know, it helps it have the time to fry very well because this tomato paste has its own tangy taste that you need to remove. So. As you can see, this is my worktop, my sink, my, <laughs> my countertop. <laughs> Over there laughing at me. Hey. I got a window. I got a window. I got a window. Oh, here. I got a window. 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 I got a window.
Reverend Father, 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 Reverend Dries up like this, but not burnt. See how small the tomato is 800 naira tomato. Madre, see that thing I was talking about the reason why I chopped it up. If you don't chop it up, this thing that is like plastic bag will be big 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 when you chop it over this small. you see how soft it is <laughs> I can't use my left hand. of that I'm going to mix it with that other one before frying no need to fry this one separately because I boiled it as well so it doesn't contain it's not that stangy anymore see what it looks like very pureed so I'll put it here Oh, <laughs> Mama is teaching me how to bargain. It, 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 people say that I, I I bargain too much in the market. I don't know how to bargain. Eh? I'm just showing you how it's done in the market. I don't even know how to bargain, and they all know I don't know. So she's teaching me how to price tomatoes in the market. See what it looks like ready to fry so everything prepared i want to take a commercial break and eat my abacha <laughs> brought by my special auntie you know the auntie that lives across the fence she's always loading me with abacha hey that is so hot she loaded this small cooler with abacha. Two people have already helped themselves to the abacha and look at what is still remaining. She always gives me overload. Overload. Ooh. Come and eat. All over, come and eat now. Okay, yata. Mana malaria kuchi gon. Gwan wetefere. Wetengas. Mm, 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 mm. Will you eat? Will you? Will you? Ah. Mm, 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 mm. Hmm, guys, guys, go for it. Mm. 
Mais c'est hard. Hein? Eh? Pourquoi ça vous est hard? Pourquoi ça vous est hard? Quoi <laughs> Thank you very, very much. I have eaten enough. Have you? Have you? <laughs> 15. It's too much. Let me boil it down. Oh, it's the stew will be watery. See? more concentrated now he's still not still watery but yeah we need to set it aside i can't wait anymore oh, for me, hours and hours of cooking next we're going to fry the meat i don't like frying meat but mm. what can a girl do what can your sister do I like frying meat, cha cha. I prefer grilling in the oven. Just a little browning, that's what I want. Like I said, I don't want to fry it for too much. Just a little bit of brown. That's fine. It's so dark in that kitchen. We've turned off the gen. So this is what it looks like. This is all the best in there. 